This is the All Candidates Forum on Yukon First Nations Issues. It was held in Whitehorse as a way for First Nation voters to learn more about the territory's three running parties' platforms. And here are the rules, uh, the ground rules for the questions. Leaders answered questions on issues like COVID, housing and child welfare and how they would support First Nations governments. Liberal Premier Sandy Silver says his party's track record since being elected in 2016 speaks for itself, like rolling out the country's first vaccine plan and the first missing and murdered Indigenous women and girls strategy. We worked with collaboration with the First Nations governments uh, to come to the table with respect and understanding. That is what we have done. NDP leader Kate White says her party has bold plans for the future, like covering basic dental work, setting housing caps, and an aggressive climate policy. We're committed to a wetland policy, we're committed to land use plans, we're committed to species at risk legislation. Yukon party leader Curry Dixon says if elected, his party will get rid of Yukon Energy's reliance on rented diesel generators and get the economy back on track. He adds it will also improve education for First Nations students, like creating an Indigenous academy. We know that First Nations student outcomes have not been uh, where they need to be and significant change is made, uh, significant change is needed. Party leaders were also able to respond directly to questions from First Nations leaders, like Champagne and Asiac First Nation Chief Steve Smith, who wants the new leadership to support preserving languages. I want to hear your party's commitment to First Nation languages and the revitalization of First Nation languages in the Yukon Territory. All three leaders agreed an early immersion program is needed. The Yukon Territorial election will take place on April 12th. Sarah Connors, APTN National News, Whitehorse.